All right, welcome back to Cantankerous, and uh, boy, have I got a bone to pick with you, Jackers, this evening, eh? Because, yeah, I was, I was watching all sorts of stuff on the TV, and the first of all is the Charlie Ngatai fella, uh, who's, uh, uh, what, what, what's he done? Yeah, because he was, he's been off for uh, a year with concussion, and he felt like he had a bit of a headache after uh, after a game that he played, and so he's been stood down again. And I... See, I don't. I, I played through those sort of things, and now my memory's just. <laughs> what a telling out I do. They, they stood him down because he had headaches and he wasn't feeling very well at the end of the day. So I think he's done the right thing because you know, they, they, they stood him down. They did stand him down, right? Yes. Oh, I'll tell you what, I feel like I've been saying the same thing over and over again. Mildred, she's got the tea, darling. Chris Cornell has passed away doing, but apparently he was quite big, quite big in, in the, uh, it was a drum and bass grunge. Really? Well, apparently grunge is a kind of music now. There's, there's all kinds of, uh, there's all kinds of music and it all started like, it just seems that the names of music have gotten further and further away from where you live. Because it started off with like house music, and then acid moves music got involved, and they get that got acid jazz sort of coming along, and then before you know it, but there was garage and uh, the whole drum and bass in the garage, industrial and jungle and forest music, like ocean sounds and stuff like that. I mean, what's next? That's what I want. Lava music. That's what's going on. But that'd be hot rock. Not just for massages. Not that I would know about massages, that is. How's that tea coming, Mildred? Bloody Mike Hoskins, eh? Have I got a bone to pick with you, Mike Hoskins, you bloody buffoon? Going on about John Oliver, going on about New Zealand. There's one thing I hate, it's people going on. And on, and on, and on. For no good reason. And on. One of the things that caught my ear, the thing that really pissed me off was he, he actually had the gall. This isn't John Oliver, by the way. This is bloody Mike Hosking. He had the gall to say, well, who the hell is John Oliver anyway? Nobody's heard of John Oliver. If you stop people in the street and ask them who John Oliver was, they not they don't know who he is. Like you bloody idiot. Stop people in the street in America and said, uh, so which channel is Mike Hosking's on? So that they're not going to know who you are either, you nonce. Maybe. If we don't like John Oliver talking about New Zealand, maybe we shouldn't throw dildos at our bloody members of parliament. Last year, with this in mind, perhaps... Maybe we shouldn't create a flag that looks a bit like the ISIS flag. Furthermore, traditional black background oh, similarity to the flag flown by ISIS. Maybe our Prime Minister shouldn't pull ponytails. Maybe our Prime Minister should, should like, have conversations that don't have teapots with hidden microphones in them. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe our, prime, our current Prime Minister could learn how to make a bloody pizza. Huh. Instead of, like, double carbs. Like spaghetti, tin spaghetti too, tin spaghetti, on a pizza base. This informative video was brought to you by the PM behind Pizza Getty for when one carb a meal just isn't enough. Doubly offending Italians, really, isn't it? Yeah, it, I think John Oliver is quite, uh, quite justified in reporting on how bloody ridiculous our news is. If you don't want John Oliver to report on how bloody ridiculous our news is, perhaps um, perhaps maybe you, you jokers could come up with something a little more newsworthy than a giant fucking cow being installed in Morrinsville. Getting closer, the biggest thing to hit Morrinsville in years, maybe decades, is now just weeks away. Yes, indeed. The Waikato Towns, I'm sure you've been talking about it as much as we have here at Seven Sharp. The mega <laughs> cow is in makeup, or at least the spray painter's booth ahead of being unveiled early next month here. Finally, the mother of all mothers is on the move. Uh, we've got our, uh, our first piece of bad mail. Yes, and it's from a lovely lady on Facebook who uh, 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 sort of took the time after watching one of the videos to jump on and, and leave a message for us on the video there. Oh, just one word, and it was rubbish. Mel Pace Smith. Yes, because these are the videos that we make. If you don't like them, this is why, this is why it took so long to get women into the RSA. 
because of people like you. Yes, obviously, if you'd like to leave a comment on how shit our videos are as well, go suck a bag of dicks. Thank <laughs> you.